Good morning. Welcome to day two of the NC500. So we've been driving about an hour and a quarter, hour and a half, and we're in a little village called Libster. There isn't a lot here, but this little harbour is beautiful. Gorgeous little spot. Getting thirst on. Fancy coffee? Nice little coffee and cake shop. Cash only though, so need to call cash machine and get some more out. I think that's gonna be a bit of a theme in some of these more remote places. So this was a nice little find. Not seen it on any of the guides or routes before. Sometimes you've just gotta get off the main road and explore a little bit to find these little gems. The Whaley Ghost Steps. Not sure I wanna do this. Ooh. What a view, although, just realized you're gonna have to walk back up them as well. That wasn't as bad as I expected. well worth the walk down the steps. Not too thrilled about the walk back up though. When we're at the top, it was raining and windy. Scorching down here. You've got to hand it to them. They know how to do castles here in Scotland. Now this one is called Castle St. Clair. What a place to build a home. It's a very drafty place to build a home though. You wouldn't think it's July. My hands are cold. What do you call a man with a seagull on his head? What? The old ones are the best. Feeling a bit overdressed now. Duncan's behead, I think it's called. We're gonna go and see the stacks now. These look really cool. Wow, look at that. Harder work than I wanted it to be. It's a little bit breezy. Proper had to batten the tarp down. It's got guy ropes everywhere. We're right on the seafront at John Groats. We've not even been to the sign yet, so we've checked into yeah. the campsite. It's a bit too windy for the tent box. That was flapping all over the place. So things haven't quite gone to plan today. The weather's pretty grim and these temp box didn't like the wind so they've had to check into a bed and breakfast for the night so we haven't been to the actual john o'groat signpost yet it's literally 200 yards that way but we're here as a team so we'll check in and do that tomorrow 
Good morning. Still a bit breezy. How was your night in a five-star hotel? Lovely. 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 Shower. Lovely luxurious bed. We wished. Yeah. It was basic. Basic. <laughs> I had a great night's sleep. They have been kind enough to bring some bacon butties home with them though. Happy days. Yeah, had to very really tighten these up to... A sign. I saw the sign. That's where it's good to have a long in, isn't it? <laughs> John O'Groats, tiny little village. I wonder how many people have come here though just to touch this sign. The weather's coming in again. I think we're gonna to have to get used to that. So we're at Dunnett's Head. This is the most northerly point of mainland Great Britain. It's hard to believe that Shetland's another 170 miles or so. So what we're on now, I think it's day three. I'm losing track. Joe's heading up to bag the most northerly trig point. I'm gonna try and catch her. Well done. It's not my second ever trick, but it's my second time bagging one on the top of the world. Well, the top of UK mainland anyway. Wow. The rain's coming. Yeah, uh, again. me this camera again so we've just stopped off for the best coffee in betty hill um there's a little as you come around the bend there is a i'm not even uh, he does this all the time i say it's really easy to talk on camera and it's not i will put the name of it on the screen for you in a bit because i can't remember what it's called but it's betty hill on the north coast 500 best coffee really really tasty their own blend apparently obviously not driving holding the camera that's what you've got a long selfie stick for and a wife another little stop off there's so many of these gorgeous locations so i've just watched back the clip that joe filmed but 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 she's as bad as me harder than it looks in it dear This for a campsite. Awesome. Our van's just over there. Absolutely stunning. I've got a feeling it's going to be an awesome couple of days. 